you look at you know their games, they you know they're losing to Michigan State by four. Uh, you know, really close games. With, you know, they're in the game with everybody. So um, this team is really going to battle and you know test us. You're 11 points away from a thousand in your career here. What would that mean to you to get to that mark? Um, just another milestone. Um, you know, I, you know, obviously this means a lot for me and my family. Um, you know, to be able to you know represent this organization and be one of those players. You know, to to make that accomplishment. Um, but. Um, it's bigger than that, you know. We're winning now, you know. That's that. That means more, much more to me. Uh, you know, we're taking this program to another level. You know, it's just this is fun. So um, I just love coming out, coming out here every day with these guys. You know, and just getting after each other and just getting better. Trent, you mentioned that you know you guys are starting to win now. You've you've been here through some pretty tough times. What was your reaction like when you found out you guys were ranked for the first time since you've been here? Oh, like Coach was saying, it's just the number next to your name, you know. Where you know on ESPN you get to see it, you know, on the bottom of the screen. Um, it, it's, it doesn't really mean anything until you know we we prove we prove you know we're, we're, we're that we're that we're that good. So um, like I said, we just got to continue to get better every day and come to mind, practice with, with that mindset. You know that you know uh, guys are you know want want to hunt us. So. I don't think you've had a turnover in five games. Have you ever gone that long without a turnover? Before? Oh no, um, you know, coach just told me that today. Um, you know, I've been, you know, been taking care of the ball. Um, everything's just so much easier out there. The flow of the game, you know, just being my third year, um, I don't get, you know, you know, um, sped up, you know, or out of control. Everything's just, you know, so smooth. So I'm just playing comfortable out there, and um, I get to take care of the ball and just make the right play. There's fire going on behind you where you were. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, I felt it on my neck. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Is that cool or not? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty hot. It's every time you hit a three. Yeah, right? It's hot. Hey, Trent, how does this Northwestern team differ from last year's Northwestern team? Um, oh, apparently they have the best lacrosse player in the country. So, I mean, um, we've been watching a lot of film on this guy. Uh, I mean, he's pretty good. Um, he, he, he comes in the game with a lot of fight. He's their starting point guard. Really strong. Uh, I mean, he's really talented. Uh, you know, he brings that energy for that team. And, you know, a lot of those guys, you know, they're, they're, they're really good basketball players. So, you know, they're the biggest team in the, in the 10 right now. So, you know, they're going to really compete and, you know, go, try to get after us. Oh, rebounding. Um, I mean, that's how we lost at their place last year, rebounding. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, adding uh, depth, they start uh, our roster, you know, with Kofi and Georgia on the court at the same time, you know. And uh, with DeMonte, that, that brings a lot for us. Uh, it makes us a better rebounding team. So um, I think we'd, we've done an unbelievable job with that. We just got to continue to you know, improve. What are the challenges to this offense when there's so many point guards on the floor? It could be you, Io, or Andres. And it just seems like you guys have to learn how to play on and off the ball. When this um, I think the biggest thing you know, for us is just a transition, just all three of us getting out in transition. I think that's where we're best at uh, with us three on the floor together. Um, you know, Io is tremendously uh, really good in um, transition. So, you know, whenever I get a chance, you know, I try to kick it up to those guys because they're, they're really good around finish, finishing around the rim, you know, getting the easy baskets. Was that a development for you to play off the ball, like maybe in late-game situations? Because it seemed like at every level you've always had the ball in your hand. Oh, I mean, I play on and off. I mean, it's just something that uh, the coach wants. So, you know, I got to adjust to it and try to figure out how I can help the team and just do what I do. Trent, what do you think is the next step in this team's development in any areas you're focused on? Uh, repeat that again. What areas are you focused on? Next step is developing as a team. Any areas that you need to get better at in particular? <clears throat> uh, being consistent. Consistent. Um, you know, we were the number one rebounding team in the country. Uh, and I guess now we're like fifth. Uh, you know, we would say that that's unacceptable. Uh, just considering that we start two bigs, uh, we should be getting every every rebound. So um, we got to get back to that. It's just you know, on the defensive end, you know, we've been tremendously good. On, we're good on that side. Uh, we got to continue to do that and just you know. Have that mindset of you know when we when we guard really well, no one can beat us. We can beat anybody in the country. So, just consistent, being consistent on uh, both ends of the floor, and just just having that mindset. So I mentioned never getting too high, never getting too low. How do you guys <clears throat> do that? How, how do you keep just a level head for the ups and downs of the season? Oh, just I mean, just coming out here and doing the same thing every night. Whether it's we're playing Hawaii or we're playing Purdue, uh, we got to treat everybody like they're you know one of the top teams in their their league. And you know, try to you know try to come out here with a with the mindset of you know, this team's really good, um, and they they want to they want a piece of us. So 
we can't take anybody slightly. Uh, and that, that's just going to help us, you know, in the long run, just being prepared for those games where, you know, when we, have a, when we play a really, really good team, um, we'll be ready for it because we, we always have that mindset of kill mode. Is that a sign of maturity? I mean, do you think that would be as easy for you to have personally done when you were a freshman in here? Oh, for sure. Uh, it's definitely uh, maturity. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys back this year, so just obviously having a bunch of those guys on the, I mean, together again, um, everyone's on the same page and level, so everyone has one goal, you know, that's to win every night. And, you know, we come out here every night and just do our best. Uh, so, like, some people maybe view Illinois like Western as a rivalry because, you know, both teams are in Illinois, but how do you kind of view that matchup? I don't know, it's, a, it's another, another game on our schedule. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's a rivalry or not, but um, that's what the people say. Um, it's the next game on the schedule. We just got to, like I said, we got to treat every game the same like it's in, I mean, our league, whether it's Michigan State, Northwestern, Rutgers. We got we to play the same way every night. Come out here with a fight and just give our, give our all. I mean, Northwestern was your first Big Ten game. Do you remember that one at all? Northwestern, best, first Big Ten game. At it their in, place? It was, in, it was actually in Rosemont. I remember that place, yeah. yeah. The ice arena. It yeah. was cold in there. <laughs> Wood I ceiling. That. I remember that, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, do you remember like just that game at all? I mean, that was also maybe one of the first games where you kind of broke out a little bit. As a um, I remember it a little bit. Uh, that's pretty far. I mean, three years. I remember a little bit. Um, I mean, it, it was a lot of you know. Kind of, it was a great environment. Um, it was almost. It felt like a rivalry, rivalry game. Um, but um, like I said, like, we just got to come out here every night the same way we do if we're playing uh, Michigan State. But one of the best teams in our league, and um, I just do what we do. How far have you come since that game? You just made to think back that far and you know, all the growth you've made. I was just maturity, you know, uh, just being a veteran on this team, um, just knowing what like what role, like, uh, things to do, you know, just being that guy that, that that can speak up, and you know, to ask people if they need help or anything, just being a leader, um, and just knowing guys trusted me. So um, I think that's a big, big responsibility and accomplishment. Um, and I just got to continue to get better. Thanks, Steve. No problem. Thank you.